Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to talk about classic WoW and recipes. So there are a lot of recipes for different professions. Uh, these recipes often drop from mobs, from bosses in dungeons. Uh, they can be learned from uh, your specific profession trainers. However, there's actually a lot of recipes that are sold from vendors. And most of these vendors are spread across Azeroth. And sometimes they can be a little bit hard to pin down and find where all these vendors are. And another thing is a lot of these vendors sell one-off items. That means that they'll, there'll be a little uh, one next to the icon within the vendor's window. And this just means that there's only one available to be sold and then it respawns back on that vendor a little bit later. This means that those items, especially on a very populated realm, can be sometimes hard to snag, and so people turn to the auction house to buy them. This means that you, as a player, can kind of track down a lot of these items, buy them for their vendor price, and then sell them on the auction house. Now, not all of these items are very difficult to get your hands on. There's a lot of things that are on the vendor at all times and do not run out, things like these first aid manuals. However, a lot of people are just lazy. They go to the capital city, they don't wanna find out where these vendors are located or they don't wanna spend the time running there. So you can easily mark up these. Uh, a lot of times you see the first aid manual going for one gold, 50 silver on the auction house and it sells at the vendor for 90 silver. So it's basically an easy way for you to make some money. Uh, and the great thing about the first aid book specifically is you can buy multiple copies. Uh, same with Dragon's Breath Chili here. A lot of people are seeking that recipe, um, not only for leveling up their cooking, but also because it has a nice proc for melee DPS. Uh, there's a lot of examples of these out in the world. Uh, a lot of engineering patterns that only drop from specific engineering uh, vendors and then there's some alchemy ones as, as well. The one that I'm going to be showing you here is frost oil which is actually very very valuable for both horde and alliance players as you need this uh, this frost oil to be able to turn in a portion of the quest for nifty stopwatch which is a trinket that almost every single player will want to have at some point in uh, their classic WoW experience. So that means that you can always be selling this recipe and you can actually learn the recipe and always be selling frost oil for a good price on the auction house. I was going to turn this into like a full scale video that I normally do where it's a little bit longer, but to be honest, this video is quite simple. So I wanted to just leave it at that. I will have a link to all those different vendors down below. The biggest one that I can um, kind of talk about guys and really, really, uh, drive home, especially for a lot of you Druid players, because I know a lot of Druids watch my channel, is the vendor within uh, Moonglade. Since you teleport to Moonglade quite often, especially during your leveling experience while you're buying new skills and stuff, definitely always visit that vendor and buy the recipes off, off them. The enchanting rod will sell for a lot on the auction house, and so will the the fell cloth pants that that one right there is very sought after on private servers you have a lot of people that just camp that vendor and wait for recipes to be up so if you can snag a few while you're leveling up that would be amazing for you um, going into end game and being able to get a little bit of gold for yourself so yeah hopefully this video helped you guys out with some cool gold making tips uh, definitely keep an eye out for those different vendors throughout the world and i'll see you tomorrow